to ten And we'll be where we wanna When you're next to me, next to me I can't pretend You've got me feeling like you're where I wanna be, wanna be Please don't let me go, I need you right here by my side So won't you run away with me tonight In my head like a melody Laying back in this bed Playing back what you said And it's not really helping me Coming down from this high Is a dangerous ride I'm coasting Out of body floating Lost in my emotions I've been spinning slowly Trying to keep my head above water Then you go and pull me under Crazy thing I know I'm done for Stuck in this state of wonder VTuber that I am making that I will be putting up for sale um, eventually as soon as she's done. Um, anyways, she's gonna be modeled after here. I've got some. I've learned how to use my whiteboard, which is amazing. The whiteboard, so useful. Um, I hope that you can hear me. I hope my mic is working. There. Can you hear me now? Oh, good. <laughs> I 
I love the Lala avatar. I think she's amazing. You know, she really looks like my character. Sorry, I think my mic was not working before, and it should be working now. Um, she, she looks kind of crafty, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but she's awesome. I like her a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm working on this VTuber, and uh, I've started. I've started editing the eyes. I'll show you the reference pictures for this. Um, here's one. So the Morrigan, she's a Celtic goddess, um, you know, and she, she's like the ultimate goddess, you know, she's like the the you know, the divine goddess of, of life and death and everything. Um, and so I'm not going to make her all bloody like this. This was just a reference photo. Um, but, you know, they typically she's like associated with crows and other stuff. So I'm trying to make, her, you know, like this is like the opposite of my Lollafell and the opposite of the fairy <laughs> that I made the other day. So I'm going to work on her um, a bit today. And uh, I hope it's not too boring, you know. Um, It's fun. This is fun to work on. How are you doing today, Monty? I hope you're doing well. To clean up desktop here, too much stuff open. be able to see my chat a little better. It's hard for me to pay attention to chat as much while I'm working on art. Oh, you had a headache. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I understand. On Saturday, I had a horrible migraine and I swear I thought I was going to have to go to the emergency room because it just wouldn't go away. It was awful. I'm glad you're feeling better. I can commiserate. Headaches are the worst. Oh, I gotta let the dog out. <laughs> I'm doing fine today. I I feel so much better than I did the other day. And uh, yeah, so I felt like I would do, I felt well enough to do a little art today. <laughs> I'll be right back, I gotta let the dog out. She's gonna have herself a fit. work so it's not too boring oh that's good all right so let's see so far I have edited her face skin so I'll show you the things that I've edited so far on her I have where is my mouse oh god I have three screens and it gets crazy oh, anyways here we go so I have edited the irises of her eyes So there's the irises. I'll show you the texture that I made for them. Is that this? Whoa. Ah, it's this right here. These are the irises that I'm using. And so that's just kind of what they look like up close. But with all of the other layers included, they end up looking like this. That's her eyes that she's got right now. Um, um, no, actually, I don't think it's too hard. And in fact, I'm going to add feathers into her hair and I will show you how to do that. <laughs> I'm going to use, um, I have uh, Clip Studio Pro has some nice feather textures. Um, and a feather brush, and I'm gonna make a hair texture that is black feathers. And I'm gonna add that in, and I'm probably gonna make, um, 
you know, some kind of wing-like hair accessory um, to go into her hair. That's the plan. Sorry, I'm eating because I haven't eaten yet today. So those are the irises. I did her scleras too. Um, and the highlights. So, I mean, her highlights are, I just changed the color of them a little bit. And then I just did her scleras like this so that they kind of, they have a little depth um, and they're not just gray. And I might want to actually edit those a little bit more because I, I feel like they're not, well, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how she looks when I finish and have her set in like with 2D kind of um, stuff. I have not done her eyeliner. I have not done her eyelashes. Those are just stock right now. Her eyebrows are stock, but I don't know that I'll mess with her eyebrows very much, um, except to just maybe um, make the texture a little bit more um, defined. I might, we'll see. Um, I haven't done anything with her mouth inside. I did do her lips. Her lips are a pair of lips that I drew. Um, I drew these in Clip Studio actually, um, and just imported them into the into the program. So this is you know this is what they look like when they're not on a face. It's just a pair of lips, disembodied floating lips. which is always kind of weird. Um, I haven't done anything with her cheeks because I'm still working on that. Yeah, they came out looking good. Um, I was, I'm very proud of those lips. They're very luscious. <laughs> she has luscious lips. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see. And I've edited her face skin texture a bit. Um, and I'm thinking that I wanna just keep her face skin base the way it is and that I might do some of the 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 redness around her eyes on a different layer um, instead of on the face skin um, and I, she's gonna have some tattoos and stuff too um, it's gonna take a while to flesh this all out but this is what I've got so far and I really like it I really like it I mean, I think she looks cool. Kind of scary. She's spooky. She's a spooky lady. And she should be. She should be terrifying. <laughs> so let's see here. Um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to edit that right now. I'm going to close that. And I haven't edited anything, but it's going to make me do something. Um, I'll just save the cheeks overwrite it. Okay, fine, whatever. I don't think I have any temporary items anywhere right now. So, there she is. And I really like it. I like those eyes. I know, some VTubers are demons. She's much scarier than a demon, really. If you read the mythology surrounding the Morrigan, she's, you know, she's like the equivalent of, uh, the Hindu goddess Kali, or, um, you know, I don't know, any other ultimate goddess that's like encompasses everything and life, death, birth, destruction, all of it. It's frightening. <laughs> so that's what we're trying to go for here. Um, the first thing I want to do, I think I'm going to, I'm going to work on the thing around her face. So we'll pull up her face skin texture. And there you see all my weird little face skin textures. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Let's see here. Um, I want to edit the texture and I want to add a layer. And so we'll add a layer. And then, you know, we're going to... Basically, I'm going to go to Clip Studio 
gosh, I wish I could get my mouse to just not act so crazy. So I've got Clip Studio and I'm going to add, I'm going to duplicate this layer. And that's the layer that I'm going to be working on now. I'm going to turn off the bottom one. I'm going to save that. I'm not going to work, you know, making more changes on that. And this one will be the one that I import for other stuff. And I'll turn on the guide. That gives you, look how terrifying that is. I got to turn the opacity on it down because it's really too dark. I don't need, oh, no, nope, wrong one. I want that one. I want to this one. Turn the opacity on the guide down a little bit just, um, just so that it's there and I can see it, but so that it's not like so huge and in the way. So let's see. And that's what the face looks like when it's all stretched out. Kind of spooky. All right. So let's see. The first thing I want to do is I want to work on the redness. I want to do the red around her eyes, you know, like in that one picture. So Red. Kind of a skin red color, not just red red. And I want my airbrush a lot, a lot bigger. And I don't care if some people think using an airbrush is a cheap way to get an effect. Um, I'm working on a skin here. Do I know the face skin lady from Doctor Who? Oh yes, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> She's like a face skin that's stretched out um, on a frame and fed like ivy fluids or something. It's terrifying. So we're just gonna kind of start putting a little bit of redness around this eye and we'll define it more. I'm just starting with a base how I want it. I think I want to kind of... Yeah, that's not red enough. Nope, not red enough. It's got to be redder. Oh, whoops, because I'm drawing on the wrong freaking layer. Derp. I derped it up. there. All right. This layer. This is the layer I want to draw on. There we go. That looks better. And I do have mirror turned on. I have a, a symmetrical ruler set up. Give us a little bit of a redness and then we'll go in with a darker color too. I don't really want it to be too precise. This is kind of like her cosmetics. This is like her eyeshadow, but I'm not using the eyeshadow um, thing to do it because it does weird things. See how we'll check it. Check it in um, in Vroid to see how it looks after we do a little bit. I like to check it every, you know, like every five minutes or so, I'll pop this into Vroid and, um, and see how it looks. gotten used to using these guides and I kind of have an idea of how this will look 
but you know, until you actually put it on the model, you just never know. You really can't tell. So I kind of want to pull this down a little bit, like right here. Let's see how that looks. We're going to save this as a different layer. We're going to save this as cosmetic layer. Oh wait. Yeah, but I, I'm going to have to save it again. Um, I need to turn this off. I have to turn off the guide or it saves the guide on top of it. <laughs> it saves the guidelines on top of it and then you have like this weird, see it's got like a grid on it. So we'll have to save this again. Yes, I want to replace that. There we go, yes. All right, so let's check it out. We'll pull that up in Vroid and we'll add it to this layer. And we'll just see. That looks okay so far. I think I want the dark, this bit here, to point upward a bit more. I think I'm going to change that a little. All right. So back to Clip Studio we go, turn the guide back on, and I'm just gonna undo that last little bit right there, that bit. And there. So we'll go from there because I want to bring it up here instead. So pull this down a little bit. Get that there, but then we'll kind of Pull that there and pull that there. There. Kind of like that. And I think that'll be good. And I'll bring it down a little bit in the corner here. Right. So let's see what's next. I'm going to get a little darker and a little thinner and I'm actually I'm still going to use the airbrush for a few more minutes. I'm just going to make it smaller, kind of do a little darker around the edges of the eyes so it kind of looks like eyeliner. or not. We'll see. I might use the blender on this a little bit. The only problem with the blend tool in Clip Studio is that it doesn't work with your symmetrical mirror. It like your symmetrical ruler. It doesn't do it on both sides, so you have to blend each side indiv independently, which I guess is okay. I mean that that way you're. It doesn't end up looking too symmetrical, if you know what I mean. I mean because it could be too symmetrical, where it just kind of looks weird. I'm kind of looking forward to like working on giving her some wings on her hair. I think it'll be cool. 
the past is behind Take what you want and make off in the night Young and we're reckless, you eat what you sow Burned up both ends like the time that we sow Faster than lightning, we're on a road Take me so on a journey, kind of get, get out of I might pull out the feather brush here and see if I can't put a feather in there. Let's see. Let's see what we can get here. I gotta add it. I don't think I added it yet. Let's see, see how this one looks. Let's check this brush. I just don't. I don't even know what it looks like. Let's just see. Nah. Not that one. Let's add another one. I've got a bunch of feather brushes this morning. And I've also got a bunch of, like, birds. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull up this here and just make a. Just see. Nah. No. Well, we're just gonna do it ourselves. We're just gonna do it ourselves. Just gonna do it with the airbrush and with the pen and pencil. Let's take a look here. With the felt pen. A little bit bigger. Just gonna kinda give it a little. No! no. Alright. Maybe a pen, maybe. Real dark. I'm just gonna kind of draw some details in. Nah, nah. That is not what I want. Don't like it. No, sir. The airbrush is really best for skin. Just because that's better. Just kind of add feathery looking. have to draw just have to draw things ourselves look too distinct. I just kind of want it to have a little bit of a feathery look. Pop this back into into Vroid and see how it looks. Oh, 
All right, let's just blend it a little bit and then we'll, we'll take a look. <laughs> yeah she is um there's a lot you can there's literature out there about this goddess she's uh she's quite something there let's take a let's see how that looks let's see how that looks Give me back my mouse. There we go. Oh wait, no. Turn off the grid. Turn off the grid. <laughs> I I I have can't tell you how many times I've forgotten to turn off the grid and like put the the texture onto my my model and been like, what did I do? Because <laughs> it looked so bizarre. It just looks so bizarre. All right, so let's import that cosmetics and see how it looks. There we go. It's starting to look the way I want it to look. I want to clean up the inner part of the corner of her eye a bit. And um, blend those colors out a bit more. <clears throat> Maybe add a few feathery details in. Um, but that is looking the way I, I, I'm much happier with that. Alright, back we go to Clip Studio. Bigger, a little bigger on the blending brush. Blend it out a little bit more. No. There. Just want this to look a little bit smoother. Do the same thing on both sides because we don't have a cohesive blend across the mirror. What color tattoos? Um, red and black, yeah. <clears throat> They'll be red and black. Probably black um, with just a little red. <clears throat> and I have a bunch of Celtic knot um, brushes that I will probably pull some tattoos from because they will just look better than what I could draw myself. Don't you know that I'll be here for you? Till we got nothing left to do. Tell a couple jokes and enjoy the view. I'll be right. here for you. That looks pretty cool. Don't I like that. that Let's save that and check you. it out again. <clears throat> All right. Don't you know that I'll be there for you wherever you go? I'm a guarantee like Curry's three in Harden Street. So whenever you're lost, I'll be once again. That's better. I like it. Now I need to, I'm going to have to do something with her eyebrows. 
Let's export that texture. And the guide. Hi, bro. Guide. <laughs> All right. So we'll see. Just wonder if I should blend out the bottom edge. It's, I, there's something going on with her cheeks, and it may be the cheek texture that is part of Vroid <coughs> Studios. Got there's some lines. Um, and I'll probably just turn that off. Because I don't want that. Mm -mm. Don't want that. Let's see. Cheeks. Oh yeah, there it is. You know what I'm gonna do? Watch this. I'm just gonna erase it. I'm gonna erase the, the cheeks. There. That's better. Gone. Be gone, cheeks. <coughs> <coughs> and we'll just save that as a new item so that, you know. We'll save that as a new item. And then, then we'll edit that texture. I think I want to blend out the bottom half a bit more down into the face. I think it's too stark. So we're going to use the blend and we're just kind of going to pull this down a bit more. Blend it down. There. Smooth it all out. I'm gonna make this a bigger tool. There, that's kind of how I want it, I think. I just don't want it to be quite so. and just kind of clean that up a bit. <clears throat> the skin color with the light skin color here. We're gonna stick with that. I'm gonna add a little black in there just for some details, just a little bit. Pencil. And let's see how small that's pretty small. A little bit bigger. Make it darker. <laughs> like a profile of a bird's face and crest. Yeah, it is kind of. It does kind of look like that, you're right. Just gonna kind of add a little bit of a bit of detail in here. Not a lot. Whoop. 
Oops. I've got to get a glove. There. We'll add a little bit of a feathery detail. Some feathery looking bits. that I'm not sure I'm not sure what I'm gonna think of this when I see it on if we don't like it I can revert it I think it'd be fine if I blend it a bit. Let's see how it looks with some blending. I just want to get, be careful to not do the thing that, um, that, uh, is like a hazard, it, which is to, um, you know, do too much. Overdoing stuff is a is a, a real hazard. It's a real problem, and I am an artist that will, I have this problem with perfectionism, <laughs> and so I have been known to totally destroy works of art by doing too much. There, I just kind of want it to look a little bit feathery on the edges. Mmm. Nee. Nee. I'm not happy with it. Not happy with that. I'm not happy with that. I'm just going to undo until I'm happy. Let's see. We'll just see. I'm not happy. Your hobby is creative writing. <laughs> I, I, I wish I could write creative stuff. I write academic stuff and it's so boring and lame. All right, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do more because there's other layers that we're gonna add that we'll add to this. So we're gonna stay with this. We'll just save. Um, we'll save that. That's the eye cosmetics, and we're just gonna save it. All right, so we're gonna keep it like that. And then we'll do some of the other textures. We'll work on the eyebrows too. All right, so we're just gonna leave it like that because I think that looks good. You won a Final Fantasy 14 contest once with a story. Eaton has the, ar oh, the arm and choker. Oh, cool. <laughs> Very cool. 
So I've entered a number of things into the the Vroid Hubs um, contest, but I probably won't win anything. There are some really amazing things that people have done. I'm just like blown away by some of the stuff that people have done. I'll show you some of them. They're insane. So insane. Let's see here. Next thing we want to do, I want to look at, that's her eyelashes. And this is the eyeliner. You see, I'm going to export the eyeliner layer. Okay, so that's the eyeliner, and I want the guide for that too because I believe there is one. Yeah. All right. So let's see. All right. Let's take a look at the eyeliner guide. We're just going to close that one and close that. No, do not save it. Okay, so let's open up the eyeliner. We'll do eyeliner first. There's the eyeliner. And 